Welcome back to Chiron News at 9. When they're asleep, we're the ones giving you the beat. I'm the professor. And I'm Jaime Fuego, and we represent the Chiron organization and are here to keep you properly informed about all of that nastiness that is out there in the world that's going to potentially affect your livelihood and well-being. Whether it's goblins in the garage, lichens leaving leftovers in your lawn, or trolls in your toilet. And, uh, you know, sorry to cut you off there, Professor, but I'm actually getting a developing story. We have to kick it out to Carla. Kill Count, she is our correspondent on the scene, and there is a developing bit of nastiness that we think all of you need to be properly informed about. Carla Kill Count here, live on scene with Geo here with the latest epidemic. Geo, please tell us what's going on. Ah, uh, Geo, go ahead, man. And I gotta say, I am heartbroken because I've been feeding this little crazy pussy for the last few weeks and I come out back and he's dead, drained of all his blood. We got a tick outbreak that's going down here, man. What do they look like, Gia? What do they look like? Tell the people. Well, when they drank enough, I mean, they're big and gray and when you smush them, they bleed. I don't know anything beyond that. I'm just happy I don't got to feed the little motherfucker anymore, but nonetheless, I'm still kind of heartbroken. Ray Tuck, tell us your experience. Well, I'm sitting right there on that air fitter. I had a long, hard day at work. I won't come right out toward it. Bit me right on the butt cheek. What's been about the size of me, my mom? You want to see it? Turn it right there. It was right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's loose. It's loose, y'all. It got some bad blood in it. Now, one question everyone wants to know, Gio. What do they smell like? They smell like death, Carla, and you know, that stuff's not going away. We're all grossing our fingers, holding our breath, but this is some real shit, and y'all better take it serious. You heard it first from the people, live on scene, Carla Kill Count here with Chiron News. Where's my cell phone? Well, Carla, thanks so very much for keeping us informed about that potential hazard, and Chiron is always, as we want to remind you, keeping a watchful eye on everything you do just to make sure that you are safe from any sort of nasty nemesis of the otherworldly variety. Yeah, I mean, how many times do people have to deal with that bloodsucker Geo throughout the day? I mean, that's ridiculous. They think they have a spray for that or something. Oh, yeah, the ticks. Yes, the ticks. The ticks are bad. The ticks are bad giving guys like me a bad name, but I want to thank all the viewers today, and I've been Jaime Fuego. And I've been the professor. We want you guys to remember to stay safe, be strong, and that to know that the organization is always watching out for you. Always watching you. Tony, why don't you fucking change the fucking filter on this? There you go. Good job. God, I'm glad we hired interns for this bullshit. Amen. Fuck. What do we pay you for? We don't pay you good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, ghouls and girls, to another Chiron Friday Night Frights. With me, the professor. And you got Jaime Fuego here. This is the first of its nature. However, we are stoked that you're back again, tuning in to us and uh, giving a little bit of proper context about fears the Chiron organization has that you need to be aware of. And we have a new member of the troop today, uh, all the way from uh, undescribed years in the future. That's Geo226. Yes, she is a lady of not many words, and uh, well, she was a lady at one particular point, lots of enhancements of the cybernetic variety and such, but yes, she is officially a part of the process now, and there were a lot of horrors she saw in that particular future. One, especially being the fact that these bastardly little bloodsuckers have become kind of a thing that we want to keep all of you aware of in the soon, <laughs> in the soon come future. It seems like you folks have a lot of these creatures all around, all amongst you, and just now they're starting to show light. Oh, the new infestation's great. There's blood everywhere. One creeps into the yard, I take it, I have fresh DNA for everything. But the organization gave this, this new documentary made by a certain director to help all of us in our trials and errors, mostly errors with these creatures. Exactly. It's none other than Mr. Brian Usna. He made this film back in 1993, making sure everybody was aware of the nasty infestation, which has risen along with various other things lately. So what we are going to do is have a little watch along here in the process of this uh, very nasty, at times, documentary. One that I've never seen before, but Professor, I actually was told that you are familiar with this film. Oh, I, I used to show this to my students. Uh, I find the kindergartners usually take this stuff in pretty well. 
How accurate is his depictions? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, they're less than. Well, he is none other than Brian Usna. He is behind uh, Bride of uh, the Reanimator, various other bits of nasty society. It's another one that uh, my uh, friend, Jaime Fuego, reviewed for the horror show recently. So let's get this baby a rolling and see if this documentary film crew actually got yeah, this we'll see. as well put together <laughs> as it could. It's a long time ago. Modern technologies and all that stuff. So we are all at the mercy, currently, of the speed of connection and stuff, but uh, we are at the... Just to give y'all... Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. With every single... Uh... Okay, so we are at the 15 second mark right now, Overseas Film Group, just so all of you who are going to watch along at this craziness. We just read this documentary. Yeah, the fact that we had to pay for it out of pocket comparison with Chiron actually giving it to us for free to show all of you. Yeah, we spent just 99 cents on that Crown Video stuff, so. They give them money for lunches and bowel movements. Meanwhile, what do we get? We have to spend our hard on ticks. Oh, right to the point, man. <laughs> Liking the mangled looking logo. You gotta love the film great. Rosalind Allen. Don't know who the hell that is. About to find out. Amy Dolenz. That's a name. I like that uh, we're front loaded with some hopefully lovely ladies for this one, even if it is a docudrama. Based on true events is probably a better way of putting it, Professor. Well, it's the 80s. If, if you had a really good scream... Oh, Seth Green! Ah, a young Seth Green, indeed. That primitive architecture, you're not going to it. That's a very odd spelling of Virginia. Virginia. I'm just going to have a little... A little sip of my uh, typo negative. <laughs> Brought to me especially uh, from the future by, by you, I must admit. This is a this is a grape that's a lot more aged than I'm used to. You brought it back with you. So. And talk about the hardest button to button. That is literally the hardest button to button. Oh, that's the name of the song. I'm embarrassed for saying it's Dina Diary. Very much. <laughs> Once again, a cautionary tale, everybody. You need to keep this sort of thing in mind. Clint Howard and Rance Howard. I wonder if there's a relation. No relation. Clint Howard. He was the ice cream man. <laughs> oh, don't buy any fart bombs from him. He was also uh, as a very strange, bald little kid in the original Star Trek. Now, Tria, what do you surmise is actually happening on the screen right now? Because I'm, I'm, I'm having some trouble. The professor's the only one who's seen this before. It looks like ancient technologies. Is this steam crafted? Is this... Is this electric? Man, as far back as my technological know-how goes, I have no clue. It's disgusting. That looks goofy. It's a word you guys know. I'm a big fan. It's that looks like it. A, a wonderful movement. I'd like to have one soon. <laughs> uh, we're going to get you in that bathroom sometime, better Prof. Sometime within the next nine years. Hope. Fingers firmly crossed for your sake. Like, Steve Grass, and they're showing a bunch of weed. It looks good. I end up metabolizing a lot of it myself, you know, but it's a, it's a purely liquid diet, you know. So I don't really chew on the flesh that much. Look at the do. Do the do. The only goopy horror that I used to actually see in person was the chaos I personally created before Chiron recruited me, you know? You know, those were some gruesome days. I'm not going to say that, you know, we could have stopped you sooner. It's just I liked watching you work. I was totally wrong. This was not directed by Brian Newton. He's just EP, and I feel like the dumb mayor was a little tar there. Tony Randall tricked you. That's all that was. These septic systems. One on the list. You know, I used to have a dog. 
big old German Shepherd back in early 1900s, and uh, I just pick off the ticks and just eat them bloodsuckers as snacks. It's pretty, it's pretty good. The green ones. Lots of sausages. Tyler, I'm doing this because I want you to get better. He looks very angsty. I mean, doesn't really look like he's he's changed much, you know. Frankly, yes. Still looks pouty. I got these glasses in my hair and my face, Dad, and I'm just... Tyler, I'm dropping you off at a random yard where no one knows you. Now you must defend yourself against thugs or criminals. Good luck. You're not spoiling them stuff for me, are you there, Prof? No, I'm just making fun of his parenting. It's perfect. This is how I would raise my child. If you make it back and don't murder me, I shall kill you. You got the warbly camera. You guys are fan of that tone. It's it's supposed to discombobulate you, make you feel like you're. Daddy, where are you? Oh, just had him flashing back. Is that what's going on? Just got his little ear piercing. Oh, I'm so angsty. In the early '90s, man, they were he really. He certainly bad. looks deranged. In the early '90s, they were really about those just hanging out in the spray painted hey, uh, nasty sections, man. Just tripping over here. We're gonna play a game, Paul. And some bad mushrooms. Is that CB4? You sing a gimme, you live. You brick, you don't. Dude, if you pop that See, they call me spot, I go I never do. How about you? You're not gonna kill me. Maybe I won't. Or maybe I just have my dog. Is that? Lit. That's an that isn't, that isn't hungry for the Fresh Prince, is it? Carlton? It looks a lot like him. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. It's not unusual you want to be angsty as a kid. Shoot the ball. Just a white and boy it's not unusual. Be a man. And it's not unusual to feel a little bit out of place watching our primitive stuff, hey Tria? Guess what? He doesn't get shaped. He is basically saying, play with me or I will kill you. Is that, is that a sexual thing? He just needs a friend. Lucky shot. Again. It's your turn. Hopefully you make the rules now, huh? I'm very confused as to why we have this exchange going down. <laughs> Here comes the sex traffic. Yeah, I hear. I don't believe he knows how to play sport. So in the time period you uh, you joined this room in that future there, Trail, do they still even play sports? Is there anything competitive going on or is everybody just too dead? Absolutely. There are always different forms of sport. Yeah. There's no choice in playing the sport. <laughs> if you don't play, you die. Are we talking like some but uh, these are like humans. Roman games kind of shit? There's different forms of sport with different balls, discs, Hi. Hi. the like. Hi. You said so, balls. This sounds like a I wonderful. said balls. Well, if it was that wonderful, she wouldn't come back to warn us, right? I mean, shit. Hey! You interested in communing with the wilderness? Oh, so he's part of the process, too. And they're suddenly friends. Oh, boy. She's all in the end. It's fucking Carlton. It is Carlton! I knew it, yo! I wonder if they play ball, too. And him playing a hard ass is just funny as hell in this docudrama. Not unusual. I wasn't typecast at one point. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Daddy said the IRS paid for it. Since it was so cheap, I asked the old man to buy me one too. Only if you drive me nuts. Yeah, that's right. Well, then I was thinking about buying Vehicles. How about poor man yeah. John Stamos here? Shit. Racism. Can you pull me with your hands? You don't wrinkle Oh my god. Sucker. Hey, Do you want the club, huh? Now we already have a very clicked cast of people that I hope get hanged down the nut. Seems like typical community rituals. Asserting what kind of person you're going to be. Clearly even these females are above this man. I'm kind of disgusted by the groundedness here. I ain't drank coffee in like 150 years. Say hello. Uh, 
Look at that ear, man. It says, I know nothing. But sometimes I know things after drinking my tea. He's a little bit of blood. See, often in this kind of cautionary tale, you have a kill right away. We didn't have that here. Found that this kind is, of out. This is just a dilapidated, psychotic. No, even just. What is he even processing? Oh, so he's going to be the catalyst for this mass case. We're not at uh, not liberty to currently discuss who is responsible for the uh, tick outbreak right now in the midst of the Rona, but nonetheless, we still want to keep going for I've yet to see a tick that looked like that. And if we're good, you never win. Eventually, they grow armor. Awesome. As long as I can still chew through them with my chompers, it's fine. You know, they got that sweet, sweet stuff in the center, but nonetheless. I like a gush. I must say, man, that dog blood and pig blood and all those substitutes we make, it's kind of gross. I'm not Fuck you, I spent a lot of time on that. I know you've been trying to synthesize that synthetic blood for me for a while. I look forward to one that doesn't taste as well, if I'm telling you the truth, I really don't spend much time on it. Aww. Maybe five minutes to The dog! Who God made you Dr. Well? Let me see. Oh. Tick. Vampires of the insect world. Vampires of the insect world. And how does that That's make good. you feel? That's good. Um, I, I feel like it's a slight slight. You know, yep, I said slight frost. That's right. It's a little bit derogatory. It's fine. It's fine. How do it's you fine. find such, such minuscule? Those who live exclusively on blood often get a lot of hate. This, now, this is true of almost everything that lives. Fire kills it. Mm. So, good job, red-headed boy. Yeah. Well, Fuego Vampiro over here, I mean, a little bit different than me. Although, I'm sure if they charred my ass, I wouldn't really stand too long. Don't grow. Uh-huh. I thought they were going to kiss for a second there. A little bit. That's my grooving wagon. Yeah, being down by the river is more along the lines of the thing. I take it all of this tension is due to them being young. <laughs> And in close quarters with one another. And they're all teenagers, more or less. They're not actual teenagers. teenagers. Or the Hollywood little bed where even in these docudramas, they're 20 something playing them teens. Crazy, man. What are you going to do? She had a wealth, man. You're a thief, too. Oh, potty hat. Now I know where Chuck's head is at. Must be hoping for a lot of them bang a lang. What kind of question is that? I think they're saying. Maybe two individuals there. All right. Well, I killed about a lot. Dude, it's it's really hopey. I'm honestly wondering if I put on some subtitles or turn up volume or something, because man, I got this mofo cranked up and we ain't hearing much shit. It's that 80s. Yeah. Sorry. Man, he's funny. I have never seen spelled as such. That is pretty fucking racist. <laughs> the assassin. Of you. Oh yeah, Barbara. Boy, he's checking out Red over here. Tell us how. We'll see if he comes back later. Huh? If I had any money to put down, which I have very little right now, I would most definitely say this chow teeth looking mofo is gonna get drained with the quickest. How about this fellow? Maybe a little bit later. I feel like he's kind of an antagonist sort of person. He's not initial cannon fodder. He's somebody who's going to love stuff for a while, and then, yeah, just taking down a little bit later. I'm curious, though, Prof, uh, 
how big these ticks end up actually getting over the course of the situation. Don't spoil, obviously, but... Well, see, this documentary doesn't give you the full lead into what the ticks are capable of. Right. See, at the time that this documentary had happened, they had quelled the, the infestation before it had gone beyond the height. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, they only had a probability of 42% maybe encountering a fully grown tick like, at a fully grown level. I'm glad I have you to crunch these numbers for me, man, because I just couldn't have patience for it. And my crunching numbers are just saying what she's the world may never know. I actually will have no idea, so I'm just gonna take another bite of that to pop shit. Some of this is true. BBC World Service. Now, 1900 hours Greenwich time. Today, in our series on the world's hidden economy, we yeah, found a really? pond to sunny California. Where former hippies, businessmen, and Vietnam veterans have created a high yield, high tech industry protected by a Such a debonair discussion from this man, I must say. Oh, no. Yeah, but we don't get health care. That's that VHS for you. Yeah, don't get health care. Oh, boy. Well, for those of us who are like centuries old, I mean, you got way more years on me, Prof, man. Got to say. Well, we've seen these, these forms of insect creatures. You've seen a lot more nastiness than me, and you've seen aggressive, uh, adaptive nastiness, Trio. I don't care to pay attention to their goings-ons. You see them, you exterminate them. So is this supposed to be like a tick view? That motherfucker's moving with quickness, man. Oh, it's got to drain this poor little bastard. Feel bad. Ha! Ah. Tell me, crazy eyes. You hear a weird noise, you do not arm yourself. His only and friend. And I'm trying not to laugh thinking about that uh, Mr. Deeds or whatever the hell it is. Big Daddy, I don't know. What? Oh. Man, sadness with the. They're all messed up. That was a big ass looking bloodsucker, man. At least for the scale they normally hit. Son of a bitch. Damn. Now, see, people don't really understand the ticks. They're not just insects, they're arachnids. Is that their classification? That is their classification. Shows how much I pay attention. <laughs> See, they are disgustingly quick wall climbers. Yeah. They are attracted to the oils of skin. Disgusting. Sounds like something we have around here. Hey, hey, hey I will not take too lately to your end. Oh, wait, yes, you're right. Hey, I was about to say, here at the Conron Compound, here at the Conron Compound, we straight up compound both of them. You ain't even taking it back to your place. <laughs> So is he all subdued and then, oh my god, that's a big ass looking bastard. Lord, Chantal would be proud. Drop her right on his face. And yet are we not going to see anything? Very odd shot choice would go into the tire after the fallen face. I don't, a little bit strange. Well, a lot of these docudrama series, man, I mean. It was a different time. It was the Wild West. Right. Man, I was gonna say we got abs and we got boobs. And I just man. And see, back then they didn't have to airbrush them. Those dudes worked for it. Mm. I swear, Carlton playing playing badass in this is just—it's too perfect, man. It was a very popular Lilith fair look hey. in them 90s, man. There's really short man, hair on the, the, the ladies. That was a strange transition. <laughs> kind of hot to... Hey, send me some I love like to face, man. Cuts. I like... I gotta Good say, cuts. really poor lighting right there. I like knife cuts. I like scalpel cuts. I like paper cuts. I like cuts. Like cut in. Usually, Slice. dissecting is generally Slice hard. Slice and dice, man. I think all of this darkness is... Ew. Oh, 
Talk about some rapid reproduction, man. <laughs> like a gusher, right? Yes. I gotta say, as much as I love blood, this whole thing is just gross to me, man. Because that's not just blood, that's bile and all kinds of other nasty stuff. And I've had to get by drinking some nastiness previously. But, but that's dinner. That's a nectar. God damn, the flavors just not there, but it's evolution. Bag that shit, man. I can't put my clothes in here. It's all yours, huh? Looks like where you're sleeping, man. <laughs> Carl's you take job. the insect sap. Listen here, third-rate Harry Potter. Stay in the closet. Are there even lenses in them glasses? <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be surprised. Goopy man, my favorite description of horror. <laughs> Especially the real-life horrors we're trying to warn all of y'all about. My partner Holly hadn't made this trip several times But all the eye candy is so bright. The only person in our group I was about to say, they were just really, really, really showing you the length of them lady legs. The rest of us bring only our every man for himself. Captain's lab. I left it in the toilet, so I had to flush it. As I expected, the subject's first reaction was one of disassociation. There's Rome, indeed. Hastily converting this new environment. And then there's this one again. Both returning to what is no doubt habitual. She's got kind of the Christie Swanson thing going a little bit, which I'm a fan of. There's rather C rate in this regard. Perfect model of aggressive dysfunction. He cannot accept this radical change. This man watching that? Assaults it. <coughs> and poor Kelly, a prisoner of her own troubled mind. In the end, I fear that both will not successfully man? bond, despite their common antagonist. It's actually amusing having watched. Nature. Watch. So far, what we got, and read the synopsis. The synopsis of the film telling you what this docudrama is about. It explains a lot more than what we've actually seen. I didn't care to listen while you were describing it. I apologize. I like the element of surprise. It's a bunch of troubled kids or something. I don't know. That's at least what they said. The ones who encountered this new, this new strain of them ticks, man. I mean, everybody's just coming out to nature, so it's really what it's inspired to do, right? Oh. What's so inspired about bugs and insects and snakes and creatures in the night? She farted. Jack, it's obvious that it's too big for the little man. She doesn't smell that. It's full of rot. She does. No, because everyone likes their own brand. She's too busy complaining. Why are you sweating? She's trying to go home. So nobody knows She doesn't understand and realize there's something right there. It's really bad as well. Oh, I see. Although they stylized that earlier kill, this is the first one that was actually Wait. documented when this no. little outbreak happened in 92. Mm-hmm. Try. There's something on your back. It's on her now. At least if I recall the... I recall the protocol correctly. God damn that looks man. about the size of the one I saw on Ray Tuck. And yet, once again, very dim with the light. And I don't know if that's just this stream in them or whatever, but. You're hurting me. Stop it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it off. Ow! Ow! I'm trying to get it off, man! Ow! 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 Ow!
You would not believe it. What happened to you two? They're just disgusting. Well, we them. Big Anywhere you go. go. Well, we are Everywhere you go. No, I know, but this wasn't your average wilderness bug, okay? It was no, kind of... I... Something was like, with my back or something. It, it was gross. It was slimy. It was like a... Like a, like a big snack. Oh, come on. She has no <laughs> residue. <laughs> just don't touch it if you don't know what it is. Don't touch That's it. That's what she said. Oh, come on, guys. Bugs don't attack unless we're activated. Great. Classic story. The adults not leaving kids. Thanks. Uh, please stay, please stay if they're hungry, they'll find me. Observe from a distance. Be surprised. Observe from a distance. Yeah, the right. diligence is all from there in that regard. Yeah. Melissa, please, you don't hear the other kids whining. Ooh. Right on the goddamn bus, man. It's based on a real person who's attacked, man. This is very dramatic with the, um, the adolescent emotions. We had a private rest who lived down the road. Oh, you can call me sir. I, this is my associate, Jerry. Sir? And you Jerry. can call me a sir, huh? Um, would like a burger? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, thank you, but not yet. We just stopped by to offer a friendly word of advice. Well, since they closed down the logging mill, some of the this local. Debonair dude, well, man. Illicit. Gotta say, he's That's got like the little scarf thing going on, a little undercarriage. We have a cash crop. It's like an old man, Ken does. <laughs> what the? Very much so. Age of them. Mary? So who's the top and who's the bottom here? I don't, I don't, I, I can't say I know for sure. So essentially he's saying, hey, I grow many Juana. Stay away from my fields. Why should well, I don't think you have anything to worry about. That was the foreshadowing well, in the beginning. Good day. Thanks for stopping by. Wait, there was foreskin in the beginning. On that newspaper. Oh. Anyone who carries oh, a comb kid. all the goddamn time, man. <laughs> His teeth actually looked worse here than they did 20 <laughs> seconds ago. So I wanted to that's know where you need them script. Script out what you think. Keep that consistency. Maybe he squeezed in a hit of meth before the next scene. Hmm. Oh, look at who's alive. Whoa! Is Ronnie Howard's older brother not dead? Oh, oh. oh no, is it going down for his nards? <laughs> I still haven't seen any of oh, it's inside of him. Yes. That's a rough side, man. Cowboy, get him! Well, at least he's down there. Woo! Oh my god. I hope you didn't miss. Oh, you uh, missed. I was about to say. I think there are a few hybrid like species that can no, and will survive in you, but those are few and far between. They have well, to come into an five. orifice. I incubated five. None that I've ever chatted on. Oh, Usually no. they're too big and. Years. Who would let that crawl up in them? Maybe. Those are them gunshots we just heard. And now we got sex. Gratuitous. Right. Hit it. gas. Let that be light. Woo! Jeez. Humboldt's like, why are you interrupting my coitus, man? Burn, baby, burn! Yeah! Where are they sitting? What's going on? You trying to start a forest fire? Right, right. Now come on, guys, you can't be that stupid. What are you looking at me for, man? Don't call me stupid. Chill out, Chuck. Don't call me stupid. I'm going to say, these are all very high risk kids, man. Right, it's no big deal. Maybe I'll show you how to start a campfire tomorrow night. Right now, I'm just a little busy inside. He's tracking everything else. I thought, I thought you just said there weren't supposed to be campfires, dude. Dang, bro, you didn't have a better excuse? Like, hey, are you sleeping? No, you straight up got to, I'm busy, because you want them to know you're screwing them. And yet, Lilith Fair and this other guy, they don't really look too much older than these alleged kids, you know what I mean? 
Got Time to be awkward dog. humans. Oh, this and poor the tick canine. Dog. Yeah, I feel horrible. I feel like he's just going to have a real bad time with me, man. Yeah, I'm experiencing him saying this too. Oh. Goodbye, furry friend. See my dog? I'm holding on hope he's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just working something out. Yeah, you are. Man. I've given you shit and you've taken it. But you got here in the woods, man. Ain't like you're scared, you know? You're tripping on your own shadow. Um, sometimes when, I, when, I, when I'm alone, I just I get dizzy. Oh, man. I get dizzy. Nah, man. You got to be like my dog, man. You got to be able to run all hell into it, man. Don't be scared of nothing. It'll be all right. It's not gonna be all right, man. It's not gonna be all right. Yeah. Okay, let me fight back, dude. Ah! Brute. There's never a chance to bite back. Come on, man, go get some help, man. Go get some help, man. Hurry up! Once it happens, it happens. You see, there's a slight anesthetic in the bite of the boutique. Uh, and I heard it was what especially now? worse with this particular uh, new strain when they hit and they're nuts, man. This strain could cause certain types of paralysis if latched onto the right part of your body. As oh my see. god. This is a legit horrifying recreation. <laughs> I'm not even bullshit. Especially if they're jumping inside of fools, man. Just remember, they get bigger with the amount of blood that they're chugging down. Oof. And yet once again, this trio said very dark in this. I mean, I know they're doing this docking trauma in the woods. God damn. What happened? Who does he just... Scratching, and then he wouldn't move. I said, Brutus. I said, Brutus. He didn't know who I was. He didn't know who I was. Because he's on the verge he's of death, it. man. I mean, it's. It and he was told. Forget he all about move. everything when the verge of survival, man. And that At dog least it didn't come, come back. Not yet. What are you gonna do? Look, I don't belong here, man. Awesome. Shit, why, Brutus, man, huh? I should have never brought my dog through this fucking nightmare. He didn't punch it, though. I figured it'd be me dog. who would get in a drive by shooting, but my dog, my fucking dog would be okay. Look, I'm out of here, man. I've had enough of this bonanza bullshit. Come on, you're just a little crazy now. And exactly how get are you getting out of here, huh? That's what I was thinking myself, man. <laughs> like, didn't they all ride along with these adults, so to speak? Yeah, they came with a van. Sorry, Harry Potter. This is not Hogwarts. Yeah, that's right. Three oh, three oh, recreations oh, are just a little bit, oh, oh, a little bit tougher, so man. That was so oh. good. He likes it. I was just going walking. Bad religion, man. Going for a walk. Not the after dinner kind. My dog was dinner. It's a little bit different. This is quite a widespread infestation, though, without any sort of actual blood that we've seen. Oh, they're all. I see them on the trees now. I mean, they you drink. See, they Clint drink. Howard and a dog so far. Where, where are they getting all blood to get these big bastards to look so nasty? They are spreading plenty, like that. Plenty of creatures in the forest. Deer. True, true. They're just not showing it. Morning. Morning, Sheriff. Thanks for coming. Because this was a well documented California infestation when they put this film together. Yes. yes. That was before Chiron yeah. even peered out of the Rabbit. curtain and really, you know, come to help the general public. They're still behind the scenes yes. in every aspect. Could be rabbit, I guess. Private Could consultation. Be about anything. Might want to take him down to Doc Cape's though. You see, what they don't tell you is that the gentleman yeah. here portraying the original person was actually one of the first Chiron Field agents to expose this. 
the camp counselor wanting to screw was no, actually thanks. a Chiron agent. Yeah. Hmm. Long as I'm here. Now, was he the one who disagreed with how we handled the situation? Or, uh, the organization prefers not to discuss this, Jensen. I know, that's why I'm dancing around the topic a little bit. Which is why I love this movie. Hey, guys, where's Panic? Could you leave the That person didn't know how to make pancakes. Is that there was? It's been so there. goddamn long since I've eaten that real people food, I don't even know. Back to LA. He's got a cool what? key around his neck. Well, it's like some lock and key kind of shit. Joe some. Hill, great audio. Love that, Joe Hill. Why don't you say something? I mean, you know you got your mind responsibility. Oh, this is just great. Well, like, I wanted him to go. What, Why didn't you phone? say something? You well, like, guys are my responsibility. Him? Why didn't you do my job, yeah, teenager? Right, get back here. Ah! And that is one thing, you know, I I try to be nice about the organization because they, they employ me, they incorporated me, they brought me in. But as far as, I, I mean, maybe we should start producing some of these ourselves if after quarantine we get the opportunity, man. I think you're correct. I would just be much more accurate. Uh-oh. She's the one who brought the hats. That's where the docky dramas they have to embellish with love stories and stuff like that, but I don't know. I don't know what's stupid to go. Well, because they have to make it seem like it isn't what it is. If you can survive out in the city, you can survive out here, right? Big chill here. He would be in that corner the whole time had she not come in. That's how pathetic he is. Oh, they did nail his character. I'm going to go look for Panic. Uh, the organ is there. <laughs> what? I'm going to go look for Panic. You want to join me? In the woods. Yeah, I've got to take Brutus down to the vet. I thought maybe we'd see Panic somewhere along the road. Fine, Tyler. I'll go too. No, Melissa. I'd rather is Brutus stay. still vet? Oh, oh, I, I mean, he's not yeah, completely no. red. <laughs> Melissa, please. Melissa, please. Look, they I want to take the redhead the in the woods alone. To do things to the redhead in the woods alone. Phrase that's been said by a lot of people over the course of time. I think that's a rolling hills. That's your old Paddock. It's magical right. shit. I think Paddock can pretty well take care of himself. You know, Tyler, I can't help but notice you seem pretty uncomfortable up here. Actually, you seem pretty afraid most of the time. I guess I am. Why are they moving so slow? My dad and I went camping when I was about eight. He got drunk and took off. So I was lost in the woods for a couple of days. Let's see, some pretty slow How driver, man. I got a sight. But it just keeps getting worse and worse, you know. I mean, I couldn't even go to school sometimes last year. It's pretty embarrassing to keep throwing up in the hallway. Once so again, the lighting thought, proven to uh, be a significant problem in this film. Trial by fire might be the cure for you. Dad's not much into doctors. I want to get better, though. It's just, when I'm alone, I get scared. I'm alone, I get scared. You may not think about you, I'll touch my time. Mm. Bet you wish you were back in Malibu. Shit, don't look too hard for me. See, that's not some Bradley. That looks fine. Trench coat fashion, though, man. Gotta say. It is cold. Oh, no. This is presumably northern. Northern Cali. Mass under the sternum. If the rest of the tumor wasn't just the kind of behavior you were describing. So you do the meat of the movie. Hmm. My favorite part. Ooh. That's to say, you got a lot of familiarity with that. Exactly. <laughs> Something drained your dog of all its blood. I don't understand what what could cause that. Hey. Although, like I said, I don't like that canine boy, man. Hey, Tyler. 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 Hey, Tyler.
because it's still oh, yeah. in there. So homeboy dips out though, I must say, and then they take his dog to get looked at. Like a dog topsy or something. Yeah, that's it. Too. That's what they did. It's terrible. Yeah, that's what the sheriff had to Back to Goopy. Like I say. She looks like she's about to die. That's how I feel after a good one. Where the hell did this evil come from? Ah! That shit got yeah. me, man. Nobody. I love blood. I shall name him Gregory. <laughs> I had one cute one. His name was Rolf. Ever of that size, though, man? No, Rolf grew to about eight centimeters before I decided to squash him. It was pretty fast. He was birth. He said hello. I said hello. He lunged at me. I threw him on the ground. I squashed him. I cried. I gave him my funeral. And then I inherited everything he had. I don't think him being on his hands and knees is really the best sort of approach for this situation, it's man. It's connection to Dick. <laughs> Disgusting. And I must say, credit to our organization for doing a She's pretty life-like life representation. Life representation. She's about as mad as I am. She's going to use a fishnet. Oh, please, Jeff. <laughs> Fuck your lava now. Oh, how about a new scar, Harry Potter? Ah! I must say, it looks pretty good. This is the sort of scene that will get people properly scared of another outbreak of this magnitude. Yep, that's about what it looks like. Yeah. Wish. I think this is like the thing that attacked me yesterday. I'm getting a little hungry. <laughs> what is it? Looks like you examined it. Taking from the mandible in the pseudo head. A wood tick. Ticks do not get this big. It's a tick. Severely altered, but a tick all the same. What happens? Severely? Genetically, woman. That was an idea. It's illegal, but some of the farmers are going to the same group helped develop four turtle like creatures as well. So she just basically say the tick smells like pot. Did she just say that? She did. Precisely. When the tick bites, it numbs you, so you don't feel it. As the prof said, man. You can produce a hallucinatory state. Your dog may have been hallucinating when he was on an LSD trip or something. What? What if there are more of these out there? I mean, if that's what it takes. Sign me up to be a guinea pig? I mean, this might, this generation might just start ticking. They already like TikTok. I wouldn't do that. This is, this is how it begins. Well, the reason we're featuring this in the first place in this first watch along with Chiron is because there is a lot of fear and worry that vid is keeping people's attention away from another tick outbreak. Yes. New Phoenix oh my is a hot God, spot look ticks. at that blaster. Ah. Lucky though, because he's getting that nice sweet uh, homo sapien drink. You don't want to leave the head in there. At least it's not inside him. Yeah, yeah it's like poor, poor Clinty. I spoke to Clinty Howard. Oh, man, the kick design, they, oh, man. The head is still in. Once again, props to Kyron. Oh, it oh, oh. is too late. See, there's a certain way to pull a tick from you. That was not the way. I was saying, have you ever talked about an underdeveloped character? I don't know what the hell's going on with this girl. Hey, Melissa. Ah, she's just angsty. Why don't you take everyone down to the pond and go fishing? Nobody wants to fish. Did you ask them? So I have to say, have uh, either of y'all actually had some tick try hey, to you drink your fishing? blood before? Oh, yes. Several what? times. Of course, in, in the first time this outbreak happened back in the old, 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 in the oldest what? days, uh, we didn't have as much technology to protect us, much, either, much clothing, the general to protect us. So it was rampant. 
In fact, it became a fashion statement. How many ticks you had hanging from your genitalia generally told you how many women you were going to have. No, I just think it's time you guys have some fun. See, I, I found one on my balls as a kid, and uh, that was a scary situation, ma'am. But uh, yeah, ever since I changed over and became a little bit different sort of person, uh, yeah, last one that was lashed on trying to drink, he just died right away. So, you yeah, know, whatever. Well, eventually you pull them off. They used them for bloodletting for a long time, like with leeches. Yeah, similar approach, yeah. Man. Until you only left the heads inside of people. Was it effective? Yeah, it was infective. Ah. Aha, uh -huh. that's a word for you. Because they spread those germs and stuff, infective. man. Infective. I mean, the I know. you know. I know back east in the States and stuff, like, you know, like Lyme disease, all kinds of nasty <laughs> shit. If you survive, you should be lucky. That's what you have, but. Close calls for many. Do you like fish? Too many. Many in the organization, too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Fish. Why are they? In fact, there's a whole area dedicated to the tick. The people, the victims. Who, who are eat? they're, they're eaten by ticks, okay? There's no way to dance around it. They're fucking devoured. Sadly. Rest in peace. All my projects. I didn't mean it like that. Glass is empty. Look again, I'm not proud. I didn't do the things I did. It was a different type. You know what I would have done if it hadn't been Polly, though. I didn't even talk to my parents about it, but. Well, that's where I got to credit your your restraint and your alteration. Just just trying to figure out how to appease people a little bit more so without being in some face. Huh? They don't affect me, but I've seen. Is that because there's like enough of you that is bionic, cybernetic, or whatever? Look at all of those though. Well, there's many types of creatures and organisms that tend to stay away from me that would usually be problematic for the human. Okay. Well, if Future Me had designed you, he probably would have made a way for you to have some sort of social distancing mechanism that would help prepare other creatures from your very aura, scent, or just your looks. Either way, I have found him. I have not figured out how to do that with anything else yet. I can't wait to dissect his brain. What if you run into one of the Well, that's what I would imagine that with, you know, 226 over here that specifically she became so bionic over time that maybe, I mean, some of these sort of uh, predators would like enjoy the taste of her flesh or whatever. I mean, has maybe some of that, uh, you know, steel and, you know, the metals of all those cons actually just seeped into that bloodstream and it's just not, not as fulfillingly tasting, I wonder. I think she's found a new love interest. Hey, I'd watch that, man. I mean, come on. When we were in town, that rank guy, the younger one who came to camp, you should have seen the way he looked at me. He made me feel so weird. Hey, hey, you got a bite! You got a bite! You got a bite! You really did it! She got a bite! I know, and I'm fearful what the action is going to be. I know what I'm doing. You see, I've studied the case files, Prof. I know what they are, man. <laughs> the net. The net. The net. The net. What now? They can live underwater. Go in the pond. For I'm not going there. Mm -hmm. Go in the pond. But even this particular new strain of species was far more adaptable in that oh, regard and quickly oh, adaptable. We're not talking generations. We're talking... Yes. They, in fact, they leap so many generations of evolution, which is why they look so grotesque. Anytime you have... I've seen this through my experiments. Anytime you accelerate you the have? evolution of a single species that rapid, there's grotesque mutations you cannot account for. Run. It's one thing to sew two animals together. Mm. It's another to jump that animal 2,000 years into the future. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. Look at that! Drink of all his sweet, sweet cheese. I want to know what kind of fishing line she was using to pull a human being up out. I must admit, man. She doesn't look what? like she's some sort of formidable sort of strength or nothing. Didn't they just see the sheriff oh, yesterday? Oh, so I just kind of figured something out. Gee, where'd you go? 
And I know they added this for dramatic purpose about the tick outbreak and, you know, the I weed, know. The weed people and such. They're trying to cover up this because they know what's going on, don't they? Well, that's exactly how Chiron covered this up. You know we're not supposed to talk about that. But. Do you think the weed farmers were just typical people? Yeah. Although I thought Chiron got out of there. That whole It life. was just a cover. That's what they said. said, This is how it begins. This is all classified information that we are dancing around. Experiments on too many parasitic infesting things just all gets out of hand. Then it plateaus. Then it creates more chaos. There we go. You see, I thought. I thought our organization was initially doing this experimentation because they wanted to have parasites they could send through the fade and actually just to neutralize a lot of these threats that are still jumping over at this particular point. And it was some botched experimentation. That's what I think I remember, but you know me, man. I knew the, the scientist briefly who worked in this, uh, this set for this area. Yeah, this Chambers, I remember him too. Ah. Yeah. From what I understand. Oh, 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 How is he still Did he drink his eyeballs? And this is where, for dramatic purpose, I mean, Chiron had to you know, just kind of augment the storytelling a little bit. Of course. Because why? Else, how else would people be scared? Augment it, yes. Ultra make the threat seem a little bit real. I mean, a little bit more real, I should say. Oh my god. Exploded out of his face? Oh man, I couldn't even blow his brains out. <laughs> Just kept drinking him. Pretty cray crazy. Here's yeah. that LSD trick. Here's yeah, the There is a still, benefit. Of, it's still the lighting in this room. Keeping man. the hosts alive. Definitely. That's kind of a cool shot of Michael Blues. Now it is the conspiracy uh, that uh, I'm imagining. Oh, damn, dude. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a wannabe dinner, sir. <laughs> <laughs> a young entrepreneur. What the hell are you talking about? That's what I'm wondering. California class. And I ain't after your goddamn gun. I'm trying to get my ass back there, Liz. I'm actually very upset because I have friends who uh, live in the Eureka area and they uh, very uh, properly grow the green stuff. They are involved yes, in the community up there, doing everything legally and officially. Tell me, young man. <laughs> this shit is a little bit derogatory. Yes, sir, I'm a faggot. Yes, sir, you're a faggot! Yeah, get him, Grant. Ah! Oh, remember I said they were lovers, man? It's pretty obvious. Uh -huh. Sir! Not at all to get a bad idea, Jeremy. Yeah, Carlton. Yes, right. I like it. He accepts the pain. The only the nastiest enjoy that pain. Myself, I'm sorry. I'm going to go. Smart man. Oh, fuck it. You're not me. Fuck. They have to smack it down, Come on. Come on. 
because I thought that was some real blood. So it wasn't you. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Take those drugs. Cautionary tale. Marijuana gets you ticks and death. Mm. And death ticks. Death ticks. Talk about early 90s mentality, man. I feel like that should be a new name for them. Mm. Yeah, that should have been their classification. Now, in the fall here in New Phoenix, man, I mean, there is the possibility of uh, full on legalization for that stuff. So we'll see what transpires, I guess. Big ticks. Holy shit. It looks like a pear. Juicy. Yeah. It does, don't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is definitely somewhere between like. What happened? No, Samara Weaven and uh, the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, the original one, the movie. Christian Swanson, yeah. What's really wrong with her, man? She got bit by some bug. Must be that neurotoxin. Everything's gonna be alright. Alright, let's go get the other thing. Take her in town. Yeah, we had that same shot, that same bit of leg of the love. Everybody's getting high in the town that night. And that makes me think of some movie I watched. They're burning this whole crop of these illegal growers, and there's just onlookers that are standing and getting contact hot. Beautiful. Frank, forget the name of that movie. So without a pal. Mm. No, that's right. This one we've really seen very little of. Saying. What is it, sweetheart? We think the sheriff's been killed. The girl found a body in the pond and a bullet hole in the shirt. Think? I want to get the kids out of here. That Can sheriff was me? well documented in his <laughs> death. <laughs> Let's get our stuff yes, back and get he the was. before it gets any darker. All they should have said was, it's time to leave now. No. Damn, the first train that they found. You know, contrary to what you think, Charles, these are all good kids. Yes, but I am running an experiment that you do not know about, and I need this experiment to go away. Exactly. Lock the door. Get away! Here they come! And, okay, now they're coming through. Tough situation, man. I'm glad that Tyron uh, was at least able to assist in the California containment of it when it initially transpired. Left. Oh, yeah, so he's got a few on. He's got a few on his face. Damn. Champion, practical effects, actual, actual physical creatures. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, when we're talking about something that was a real physical threat. That just saved our lives. A little over 20 that years ago, man. Or a little under, actually. That's about it. If these creatures had been given one week, they would have been able to take over most of Southern yeah. California. It was as quick as they're going. There was fear about the southwestern United States. I mean, they're going to get into Nevada and here in the deadly desert of Arizona. There was just no telling how fast they could expand it. You know, I think I did believe that currently the bubonic plague has fell upon the desert. Excuse me. This is true. It is carrying my ticks. Well, I believe it's been here for quite some time. I don't understand uh, well, wait, why it's now she was bitten by one of those bugs. being mentioned. Well, you saw how far it expanded in those future years. I mean, I haven't been there, but you talked about it before. Very scary. Perhaps it still hasn't gone away even in this particular period for us. We gotta keep going, Charles. Yeah, I'm just worried about how we're gonna get out of the van. Just send one of the kids. We're not sending one of the kids. Why don't you go, Jerry? Bring the van around for all of us. <laughs> like, uh, uh, <coughs> no, sir. Oh, boy. No, sir, I ain't going. Hey. Harry. Don't answer. Got straight up Carl to man. We ain't seen him dead yet. Uh, he takes some time to comb his hair. You know, I heard some. some uh, yeah, exactly. Right here. Right here. You know, I, I heard from some of our colleagues who dealt with that guy that he only combed his hair like two or three times in the entire three weeks that they were working with him on this infestation. Well, truthfully, he only had hair on the sides of his head. And, uh, Those are my blues. What's that? At that point, do you throw down, or do you just leave to be like, uh, like, no, 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 Well, I was a God, God-fearing man before I became immortal, and, uh, yeah, destruction by water initially, destruction by fire in the end is what they say. Combustion is inevitable. It takes... Oh, stop. It's just inevitable. Wait, Buster. Oh, stop. Actually, this is your moment to take a chance and dissect him. Take notes on how he's feeling, how he's dying, what he's seeing, what he's smelling. Truly. Ask for specific pain. And I think the reason was that the response from our organization was so delayed because this was an isolated incident in North Redwoods that they didn't get to study it the way that they wanted to. And that's why there was so much quelling by fire and such a short amount of study. Good death. That was a good death. Meaningful. Probably really the best actor in this film. Mm. That was a good, good death. Yeah. Not of the unusual variety, that's for sure. Solidly won. I appreciate your grief, but we best be moving on. Unless we want those bugs to get the rest of us. Bugs don't use guns. Somebody shot him. Just like somebody killed the sheriff. What the hell are you saying? How about? Huh? Nobody's saying anything. That's right. No one's saying anything except me. You dig? Because I'm the one with the shotgun, man. He said you dig. They know about our operation. I said kill him. Every stinking one of them. 
First, I require the keys to the van. First, I require. <laughs> oh man, I got to say, you have to credit the delivery, right, Prof? Dude, <laughs> uh, you're like five times buffer than that guy is. Lift him up. Oh, let me ask you. Well, he does have lenses. Mm. <laughs> you gotta feel him, sir. He's all slippery. I like him. Oh, man. Oily. Very oily. Why don't you have a wash your hand? You missed. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, back with that huge <laughs> slimy goodness, man. I don't have the keys to the van in my hand like Pronto. I'm gonna feed you folks, one by one, to our hungry friends outside. <laughs> Say yes, sir, it's dinner time. <laughs> and the burning of the miniature. I wonder how much that costs. They ain't gonna cooperate, sir. I said we should have some real fun with it. See, if I remember what Cedric in the county told me, right. they spent right. about 10 mil just on that burn. So. It was All really, now is a show and it had to be relegated by the U.S. Try. government, and it was once we were initially Sounds starting like to work with them more accordingly and follow their you see, guidelines. This is why I always hated this part of the, the organization. Whenever I have my experience, I always tell them, don't worry about the cost. I mean, it would. Even if it involves Tread lightly with the criticism, though, I must say. Not me. Forget it. No way. They still look really good. I must say, man. So, straight up robotic little miniatures that uh, very cleverly moved, moved about like that, and, and that's where that's where the budget of this docudrama probably went. That man. Very rapidly so, because your ticks look pretty good in the Something tells me if they were to be making it today, they could still afford Seth Rogen. Or Seth Green. <laughs> yeah. Why not pull a tally? Speed related, rat. I choose both. Why not? Right in the day. See, that'll deliver the neurotoxin directly to the nurse. If it's drinking on the. <laughs> What a formidable foe, though, man. I want to be the sole person draining that blood. We don't need these little unthinking bastards. <gasps> Seen this before, man. Oh, is everybody okay? There's total destruction. No, when hope is gone, then there is now no way to fend for yourself. In the most classic stories, they always have that uh, third act sort of situation where all hope is lost, and how are we going to figure out the situation? Now, that guy's still standing. Must be all that marijuana that it takes. Mar sorry, marijuana. I do believe there are a lot more lives lost than what we will properly see here in this film. And a lot of wildlife lost, as you pointed out earlier, Professor, but nevertheless. It was actually a small town. They relegated this to a, a very small mountain. That's where it started. 
this is definitely not rotating. You know, but even MSAs, you know, if we have a monster service announcement, you know, we, we want them to be frank, but we don't want them to really see the full scale of how awful it was. This is true. Because it was truly gruesome. The ticks we see here are still in the early stages. Because, I mean, then it almost feels like the German public won't have the proper trust with Dennis. They're handled it a little bit better and lose faith in those who are keeping you safe. Well, see, the problem with today's part of these, these, these tapes that we have to watch for training are no longer training tapes. People look at them and they make money from them. And, of course, that gets it out on the general public. This was originally just meant for Chiron employees to watch. Indeed, hence Amazon Prime making a non non goddamn sense from us, man. I could have gone and got myself a chicken sandwich. We work for the organization. Half the time, these depictions are in there. Shut up! We can make it as a group, you'll never get out of here alone! That's a risk I'm willing to take. Let go of my daughter, you son of a bitch! Get him! The self-preservation of Fight humans him. Fight him. is definitely these. Yes. Is Carlson returning? What's going on? Francis Shingle get. I know they took some artistic embellishments with this based on true story sort of situation. But what they're what they're going for here is cautionary embellishment workshop. Wow, this is pretty fucking cool. This is a very good transformation. Yes, they are making this seem like it takes longer. The records indicate that this probably took less than 45 seconds. Obviously, for entertainment, stylized shots and everything, yeah. And this was only showcased to theaters for those three months when initially the outbreak was feared to be spreading into some other states beyond Cali. Yes, we were trying to prepare the public. And then abruptly pulled from theaters right thereafter. Because why they're just swell public fervor, I'm make there, it scarier. No, no. Stay here with you, I'll go. Are you nuts? No, man, look at my pants. Unfortunately, the professor who was working okay? with this is going to be okay, Todd. Yeah, we'll all be okay. Let me get out of here. She had to be thrown into the bus. Sure, man, I mean, if I can manage to swing out far enough and then defy the laws of gravity to meet the van on the back swing. <laughs> I'll need a torch. Okay. I can't imagine why. Man. Whether they're based on real events or uh, just purely imaginary, you have to have a pretty badass reveal at some particular point, and this shit looks righteous. I'm not even joking. And hopefully, it's going to freak the fuck out of this guy. This is what happens when you force evolution. Imagine what I could do for you. Not directly. 
and give him the key, okay? Push me up high, Rome! Here you go, man! Go! Yeah, if that tire swing, we saw over there. That kid breaks his heel bone when that happened, man, and I'm not surprised at all. I mean, props to, props to him for helping cross this when the up back, or when the up right, bleh, when the outbreak began. Tongue twisters, the life. Well, the actual kid Seth Green was praying here. I heard he still gets residuals after all these years. So, for that 99 cents that we are uh, dealing with this high round organization, we still got like 10 cents, man. So, what is that? Yes. Right. 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 Fire. Fire kills everything. Makes them blow. Oh, sure. Yeah. See, I must admit, my, my bloodthirsty inner nature, as far as horror movies goes, is that there isn't a higher body count. I feel like more of these kids should have been than trained and dead. Especially since. Especially since we know what actually happened, but uh, I mean, for the purposes of dramatization and these doctor series. purposes we we alter the storytelling a little bit but the bottom line is the importance of the fear that all of you need to have about the nastiness that dwells out there in this world and they go back to their reality we're going for a time no now he can play basketball without worrying about getting stabbed and live in this fucking junkyard like a dog but the and reason we educate this is because here 27, 20 years later, the hell it is, 
2020, we've got one big outbreak that we're dealing with, and yet we have a potential resurgence of another, which is why we watched this Chiron MSA and uh, just everything that we were trying to warn people about with this film in the first place. Just be aware. Shit is real. Say, yes, this is a good general outline. General outline. See? And they purposefully left that bit in there because uh, the organization had feared that there could be a potential resurgence and sure enough, that's what we are staring down right now, as if this nation doesn't have enough to deal with right they now. They just had to light the whole fire on all of the forest because you can see them on the trees as well. Of course, they're going to spread. They're parasitic like that. All of those saps everywhere. The massive amount that they documented, and maybe they, they over blew it just a wee bit in the film, but when what did we learn? What did we learn? That uh, everybody needs to be aware that uh, there are uh, actual nasty things that want to suck the blood beyond myself, and uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're here to just prepare people properly in the process of all this. Don't trust your peers and light it all on fire. Why couldn't it be more proud? Want to thank everybody for dealing with us while we enjoyed this documentary given to us by the organization. It has been a great, great one of my favorites. Indeed, and uh, make sure to do the like and share and subscribe and oh man, if I could even talk proper, like, share, subscribe everybody to this list. It's all my teeth is a little bit on the rough side. Whether you were seeing this on the Chiron Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash Chiron Band AZ, or youtube.com slash Chiron Band AZ. We have a lot of amazing content, and make sure to also jump over to our Reverb Nation where you can hear Trio doing some singing since she has joined this group. That's right. Indeed. It has been a fun process of creativity and informing all of you about so much, whether it's other nightmares we could potentially experience or a civil war that she has made sure to help us avoid. We look forward to spending more time with you ghouls and gals. This has been the Professor. Trio. I've been Jaime Fuego, and stay tuned until next week on a Friday's y'all, when we have Friday Night Frights. More information coming at you soon.